their offense today, you know, Dana, talk about what Dana's kind of walked into, what he's trying to do. Well, I, you know, when you, you look at West Virginia, I, I think they're, you know, they're one of the most complete teams we've played. Obviously, Ohio State was, you know, very complete across the board. But when you really look at these guys, their offensive line, uh, their skill receivers, their running backs, their quarterback, uh, they got a lot of experience and a lot of good players. Uh, you know, they play hard, they run the ball, they throw the ball uh, well. Uh, they keep you off balance with a lot of different looks. So it's a, you know, very well-conceived offense and their players are very, you know, very, very good at running, you know, their system. So you got a, you got a lot to deal with here as, as well. Their, their perimeter speed is, is really good. Running backs run hard and their offensive line is very experienced. I assume, you know, Dana's always liked to run the ball, but now, you know, the offensive line coach that they've got now, I mean, I assume this will probably be one of the more physical offensive lines you'll face. Yeah, they, you know, they've always done a good job. When you, you look at all the games we've had, we've always had really tough games. You know, we've separated late the, the last two years, but those were, you know, those were all close games, uh, you know, going in late in the third quarter and early fourth quarter when you, you know, look at the history of these two two teams. And, you know, we, we, we hope it, <laughs> it keeps going the way it has, but hey, we're going to have to fight like, Cats and dogs out there, uh, you know, Saturday night. Losing Charles Walker, you're down to two, or one of your three starting offensive linemen from Houston. And then you had Lamkin out and, you know, uh, Bledsoe. And is there anything positive that, that you can take away from cycling through so many defensive linemen? Yeah, I think we've grown, you know, as a D line. I, I think uh, Neville and Austin Roberts have really grown up and become great players uh, for us. and and very reliable players, and, and DJ Ward, the same thing, and and then bringing younger guys, it, you know, it's a shame Armani, you know, ran into, you know, a setback, Armani was coming on. Uh, so, you know, we, we played the whole year without him, so it ain't like we, we won six straight, so, you know, it, it is what it is, and, um, you know, we just, you know, concentrate on the guys we have here, and, you know, our guys have, have played well, and uh, it's, you know, we, we're, we're, you know, thinned out, but, you know, we're managing it and, uh, you know, really pleased with, you know, I think it's been one of our most consistent groups. Uh, not a ton of huge plays, but, but very consistent for us all year. I think as far as Roberts goes, was it just a year of getting acclimated to D1, bigger, stronger? I mean, he is playing really, really well. I'm really proud of him. Uh, you know, he got in here late a year ago, um, coming out of junior college, uh, just grasping the, the system, uh, learning, you know how to how to operate in a in a program of this nature was you know somewhat overwhelming. He got here, I think, as we are in two days, and it's going to take you a year to get acclimated to everything. And you know he's really really come on, and you know has has, has really done a lot of good things. And you know we, you know I'm I'm just really happy for the kid. He's got a great opportunity to play a lot, and he's played well for us. And you, you get excited to go try and play and take a win away from somebody in their own house. What are your thoughts on the West Virginia defense? Physical. They play hard. Uh, I mean, they're playing well this year, and they always play well at home, too. So um, they're making a lot of plays, but when it comes down to it, we just got to worry about doing our job. Baker's practice been pretty good this week, especially with so much on the line and in a nationally televised game coming up again and, you know, at nighttime. It's going to be cool. Yeah, I'd say the guys can kind of feel it, uh, how much is on the line. It's exciting. It, it makes practice a lot more enjoyable instead of kind of dreading it. Everybody, you don't really have to pick up the intensity for this, these types of weeks. They're, they're ready for it. They know what's at stake. And so um, we know what's going on, and it's just about going out and executing. Two years ago was your transfer year, but what do you remember about Samaje's game at Morgantown? That was the coming out party. Uh, I mean, he had, he had a great game. I mean, he's the physical back, and that was kind of when everybody realized it. So um, I'm sure that they're going to be remembering that. They got a lot of new guys on defense, though, so not necessarily that. But uh, I mean, we'll try and establish the run early like we always do. Becker, with your two big running backs, if it's a muddy field or wet field, whatever it's going to be, when you feel like that you're still in pretty good shape with your ability to run the ball? Yeah, we're always in good shape, and uh, especially with those guys and the way our offensive line is playing as well. So uh, we expect that no matter what, <coughs> it's frozen or not, if it's muddy, it doesn't matter. Uh, we should be able to go out there and just play our game. Against Ohio State earlier, got a little bit more against Kansas State. How much ready, more ready are you to play in this game than you were earlier? Well, I mean, you always hear about how 
or, or our coaches tell us, I mean, in, in the beginning of the week that they're they've been coming back just like their third, sometimes fourth year playing this lineman as well, advanced and they're they're a lot of returners and so they know what they're doing. So you just got to know coming in as a smaller guy at, at outside linebacker, I just got to make sure I'm physical, focus on being physical, and just make sure that I, I'm doing my job and really that's all I got to do, just handle business and do my job and everything should go well. Caleb, has the game changed for you? Hesitate in terms of how physical you've been. Is it just, have you never really felt like this is too much for me since you've been here? Uh, I, I've really focused on, since I, I know I am a little bit small, my coach tells me all the time that I'm, I'm pretty You're small. You're small, huh? Yeah, so I, I, I just know in the game that i got to prove myself in the game. So that's why I go in and just make sure that I'm going against these big guys and I'm pushing them back there and pushing me around and I can hold my own. And so when I do that, I feel pretty good about it. And so just keep on playing football. That's, that's really all I'm doing. Has the game changed for you since the beginning of the year when – you were trying to get on the field. Now you're on the field. Is the game slowed down a little bit at the D1 level? Oh, yeah, especially in practice because we're going against guys like Baker and our up-tempo. Sometimes when we're playing teams, they don't go as fast as we do in practice because they're on script and they know exactly what they're going to run next. And so, especially in practice facing them, it's helped out a lot. And so in the game, that's why I kind of feel like I'm always relaxed and just kind of knowing what I'm doing because we go so fast in practice and playing our team that has – such a good offense, it, it only makes us better. You've been a very aggressive player, though. It looks like once you get out there, you just turn it loose and go. Yeah, I mean, shoot, this is my 12th year playing tackle football. <laughs> I mean, this is what so I love to do. Football football. Yeah, football is football. Once you're in the game, you don't have coach screaming at you on the sideline all day long. So once it's game time, it's game time. I just do what I have to do. Caleb, just sort of going off your tweet from earlier today, what is the coldest game that you've played in? The coldest game? I think my junior year against Central, and it rained, and it was probably like 40 degrees, something like that. It wasn't wasn't that cold. Nothing compared to snow or anything like that. Uh, the only time I go to snow is when I choose to go to snow up in Yosemite and go in the cabin, go hang out with the family up there. <laughs> even need, even.